and on the eighth day. God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. Much more simpler back then and, and uh, everything. I remember watching the TV, glued to the TV when the man went to the moon the first time. I didn't think they'd ever come back. My first combine was a Massey uh, Harris 27 model. I bought it when I was a senior in high school. And I, uh, Combine when it, when I got out of high school as a senior, I graduated and I run that combine then. I've had some good years and I've had some bad years. Then I went down on the Roach Place after I got married then and rid that Ro Roach Place south of Tomball. It was five quarters of ground down there. And I worked like the hell on that place and uh, put all the wheat and uh, and we haven't had a good crop that year. It's a good crop. The wheat made real good. 47 bushel on, I know. I hired a lot of cut too, part of it. But uh, the next year on that place, I was farming it all. I had it all out. And, and uh, the wheat looked pretty good. And it came a big hailstorm and hailed it all out. That was a bad year for me. Bought that old 55 Chevy truck there in 55. Took all the machinery up there and stuff with. I still got that old truck. It's sitting over there in the barn over there at the Cheney place. Then when I got out of the Army then in 55, I rented some, uh, first year I rented some Indian land. That first year down there. And that's when the uh, Went out there the 15th of May in that wheat. Another guy went with me, a friend of mine. And we held our hands like this out to walk across that wheat 15th of May. And the heads all hit your hands and stuff like this. Okay. And that guy told me, boy, this wheat will make 50 bushel of acre at least. But you know, I didn't even cut that wheat. It started raining and raining and raining. Thank you. 
Yeah, I sure have. I've seen a lot of advances. I don't understand them all anymore, though. <laughs> Tell you, I can't keep up with them all. What was your first job? Uh, Sutton's Lincoln Mercury at Ponca City. Wow. Moonshiner. I worked there until I got drafted in the Army. Where'd you go when you got drafted? Uh, first stop was uh, Fort, or uh, uh, in Oklahoma there at Fort Sill. <clears throat> then the next stop was uh, Fort Bliss, Texas. Training? Well, yeah. I had 16 weeks of basic training down there. Wow. And the army to go to. And then after the 16 weeks, we, we either got shipped to Vietnam or, or Korea, I mean. Or I, I got uh, selected to go to, to uh, uh, radar school. Mm. And I went to school then for uh, eight or 12 weeks, I don't know what it was, and they're on uh, those M33 radar systems and those big uh, 120 millimeter guns. Then after I, I, I uh, got through that training, I was shipped to uh, Philadelphia where they had those uh, anti-aircraft batteries back there and those radars, they had them back there protecting the big cities. They thought it uh, uh, was going to get invaded back then with uh, aircraft and stuff, and we was back there to shoot them down and he come over, those New York or Philadelphia. Uh, 35 Ford was my first car. I bought it in 1949. I give $140 for it. There's only about three kids that went to high school that had cars then. Well, I put a uh, spark plug at the end of my exhaust pipe and I could go up to stop uh, somewhere where uh, people was crossing the street back of me and I'd choke that old Ford gun it and choke it, and it would make the, uh, the exhaust real rich, and I'd put that spark plug on, turn it on back there, and it would make a spark, and there'd be a big flame shoot out back of, back of that <laughs> exhaust. Other fields did better? Because it's a good show. Huh? Could have been worse too, I guess. All that weed out west, Mike's cut too. It's as good as I thought it would. Well, at least it didn't get held out. My great grandpa, grandma was the one that come here and bought these places in 1881. Ish, all of them. <laughs> on the Ash side. My great grandparents left, ad adopted us Ohio and came here. He was the mayor of the town <coughs> of us, and he had a bunch of businesses there, and they're well to do there in the Dolphus. And, uh, but, uh, why did he come here to Kansas on a to bought a cattle ranch back then? Uh, one thing we didn't know ever was uh, before he come here, it was right after the Civil War. The Civil War, the North went dry, and he had a distillery and Ashery and a bunch of businesses in Adopus. And they come in, and the feds came in and, and destroyed the distillery, broke up all the equipment and everything, so what the story was. But my sister, or my uh, nieces, was moved to Adopus a year or two ago, 
and she was back digging up in some of the old archives back there and said grandpa great grandpa Ish got in trouble back there and the, and when the feds come in to break up all the stills and get rid of all that stuff they did after the Civil War when it went dry he evidently hid some of the stuff in the Erie Canal I don't know it was some of the product or the machinery or what anyway they found out about it, the feds did and he got in trouble over it I don't know if they found him big or what it was but uh, but right after that they need moved to Kansas say that he said that <laughs> I said I was born when my dad was putting up alfalfa in the alfalfa field there north of the old house well grandma was probably out there trying to help is the reason you were born no, in the alfalfa know. field <laughs> you were the youngest right yeah what year were you born 1932 you still remember yes yeah. I still remember that he remembers that huh? <laughs> What were your siblings' names? Mary Kay and Robert. Yep. Bob. <laughs>
Thank you.